hello guys so today i came up with a new project so this is gonna be a short video and a simple project we are going to make today that is automatic fan controller so let's open proteus and here we will select new project Let's give the name of our project. So let's give the name as automatic fan speed controller. Click on next, 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 and again next. And finally finish. So we have our working window over here we need to import all our components for example let's have our Arduino board over here and a temperature sensor along with that let's use a DC motor so DC motor is basically a fan motor and temperature sensor is something like which will detect the temperature of the room and based on that the speed of the motor will be controlled so now let's click on part search for uh, Arduino board first so here we go we have Arduino Nano we have Arduino Uno so let's select that click on OK so you have your board over here uh, let's add a DC motor as well so let's add simple DC motor so, yeah, DC motor. so I will use a fan DC motor over here because this shows the RPM so we have our So we have a DC motor with the RPM over here. Click on OK. And we had added in the list of parts. So the last component what we want is a temperature sensor. So let's use LM35 temperature sensor. Here we go. We have LM35 on the first click on OK and we have all our components on the left hand side now one by one we will import all the components on the work window and we will make the connection so let's select the Arduino first place it over here next uh, let's select a DC motor let's put it over here and a temperature sensor over here let me arrange this properly I will rotate this uh, in a clockwise here we go let's keep it next to the sensor so that we can see how the speed changes so for the DC motor we need a pulse width modulation signal so pulse width modulation signal basically used to increase or decrease the speed of the motor we often use a H bridge but I here I want to keep it as simple as possible so we will make a direct connection so let me know if you want to know more about the pulse width modulation maybe I can make another simulation video where I can use your oscilloscope and I will show you the output what we get from pin number 3, 5 and also 9 and 10 basically those are a pulse width modulation signals so as of now let's make a connection so first we will make a ground connection so I will go over here in the terminal and let's ground do we have yes we have ground so select it over here place it over here and make a connection now the motor is connected to ground we need pin number three also should be connected to ground this should be connected to the Arduino board and uh, this should be connected pin number one of the sensor will be connected to the VCC that is 5 volts if you are practically making the connection it should be connected to 5 volts and the output pin that is V out should be connected to any of the analog pins so here we are going to use A0 so now first let's make a connection to the input of Arduino that is output of sensor that is V out so it is done 
next uh, let's make the connection for this so this is gonna be a lengthy connection anyways i am going to do it so yeah i will connect this to pin number three that is one of the pulse width modulation output done now we need a power supply over here so i will select a power and place it over here connection and double click on it and you can see there is nothing is been added basically let's give the name uh, by default it takes a 5 volts as a input so let's give the name as VCC or VCC or VDD anything so click on ok so we have almost done our connection so uh, we have pulse width modulation output we have from the sensor and we have a motor over here which is connected to pin number 3 that is pulse width modulation output now it's time for coding so let's open Arduino app and start coding the program so uh, click on new let's give the let's give the name for our sketch so control s uh, let's give the name as uh, automatic fan controller so i already made the code but anyways i will do it again for you guys um, code click on save now uh, it's time to declare all the pins so let's give as in sensor equals a0 and we have something output so this will be like sense um, let's press motor fan is 3 and I will add some comment as well. You guys have some difficulty to understand the code, so let me add the comment. Uh, sensor, sensor, input pin A0 and fan motor output pin. So digital pin 3 let's add a variable which stores the value of the sensor so let's give as name as sensor sorry sensor value uh, let's initialize that to 0 store sorry store sensor value now we have declare all our variables it's time to set up it so let's declare what will be the pin uh, whether it is output or input so we need to assign what kind of pins are those so let's give the name for that so let's write pin mode and um, sensor sorry uh, sensor by default is anyways input low so i will give the name as fan and this will be output this will be output pin for controlling motor so it's done uh, now we are in the loop where we need to write our code so I will try to make as simple as possible this time so let's write only three lines of the course I will see whether we, we can finish it in two lines so let's add first um, say sensor value equals analog read because we are reading the analog pin analog read 
camel kiss and that is read by sensor done now i will assign the sensor value itself to the motor speed so that if the temperature increases the fan speed also increases so what i will do is um, i will do analog right that is motor fan provided with the value of sensor value okay let me add the comment as well so this one store the value fetched from sensor pin that is a not and control the sorry control the speed based on sensor input so we all almost done let's try to compile the code uh, here we go So the code compilation is in progress. We see the progress bar on the right hand side below. Okay, done compiling. So now it's time to generate our binary code. So export compile binary. So this will generate a hex file so that we can import that in our Proteus software. Now you need to see where you have saved this code and there you, you can you can fetch your hex file so uh, for me uh, let me open Arduino board and here I will click on program file you can see Arduino over here uh, you can see port and here we are here is the hex file double click on it click on ok and um, next step is to simulate so let's Oops. So we got an error over here. It says no power supply specified for net. Okay, so let's go back and try to write this. Let's select this as a VCC and save it. Let's see what will happen. We'll try to simulate again. Okay, this one works. Um, fine. Try to adjust the screen. Okay, let me only zoom this portion. Okay, it's done. So you can see when the temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, the speed is 0 0.27 kRPM. So let me try to increase the temperature. So you can click on this. This basically increases temperature and meanwhile you can notice the speed of the fan also increases so earlier we had less than 0 0.30 now the speed is increasing and you can see now the speed is 0 0.34 so as the temperature increases the speed the fan speed also increases so let me try to take the temperature from 40 to 50 degree so I'm taking it to 50 degree and let's see what changes will happen in the motor so I assume slowly the speed will increase and if I'm not wrong it goes till 0 0.5 kRPM that is rotation per minute so the, the speed is gradually increasing can see the gradual increase in speed that's how the fan works so 
now the speed is 0 0.50 as expected and now let's try to reduce the speed of the fan and let's see whether the speed of the temp the speed of the fan is reduced or not so let's reduce the temperature again back to 20 degrees celsius and you can see there is a gradual drop in the speed of the fan now from 0.5 it is reduced to 0.33 and 0.32 and slowly i'm sure it it is gonna be less than 0.3 yeah you can see the speed is reducing so this was the simple project of controlling the motor uh, using the temperature sensor so you can try using this on a real hardware but you need an additional component apart from what you see on the screen so this is basically a simulation let me know if you want or any particular project you guys are looking forward for and do subscribe my channel and thanks for watching and yeah before leaving i also want to tell you that we are soon going to launch our website in which you can access all the codes and projects i often receive the mails regarding the, the code and the project you guys are often asking so i had planned to create a website and you can access all the files from there thanks for watching again